Hello friends, this video on light part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now we are going to talk about another important and another interesting aspect of image formation in plain mirror. Now we saw how our image is formed in the mirror. But have you ever observed that when you stand in front of the mirror, your right appears left and your left appears right on the mirror. If you write something, say, just look at this picture. So this is, if, if you call this as your right and this as your left, but when you see in the mirror, you see your right is on this side now. So your this hand which was earlier right, now it is on the left side and the other hand is on the right side. So it has got reversed. Similarly, if, so this phenomenon of reversal of mirror image left and right as compared to the object is known as lateral inversion. Inversion means something getting reversed, something getting inverted. So what is getting inverted here? Left and right. Left becomes right, right becomes left. So this is called lateral inversion and it happens for all image formation in plane mirrors. It always happens. Now the question is, why does that happen and why should that happen? Now for a while, let us just assume, we are just trying to assume that, it, that there is no lateral inversion. So in that case, the image should be like this. If we assume that lateral inversion should not happen, why should it happen? Now from our knowledge, whatever we have gained till now, we know that the distance of the object from the mirror is equal to the distance of the image from the mirror. So if this is your mirror, this is the object, then this has to be the image. And then this distance, if this is your object and this is your image, then this distance is equal to this distance. And we also have learned that the entire image formation happens in the similar concept that each part of our body everywhere in our body is considered to be one one point. And for each of those points an image is formed on the other side of the mirror. Now let us just consider any one point on this image. So let us say I am considering the tip of this finger. So this is my point. So I am considering this is my object right because this is a point on the object. So then as per my knowledge, this distance that is distance of this point from the mirror should be equal to the distance of the corresponding point of the image. So in this picture, it holds true because this distance and this distance are equal. Now let us see if it holds true in this case. In this case, the distance of this is this much, but the distance of this from the mirror is this much which is not equal. So in this case, it doesn't hold true. Now, if you compare it for any point, so for any of the points, you will see that the distances are not equal. So let us assume this point. So if you take this point, so here the distance is this much, but here the distance is quite less. But in this case, you see, you compare it, the distance of the object is equal to the distance of the image. So with this, you can conclude that images cannot form like this. And that is why we have the concept of lateral inversion because the entire image formation happens on that concept of point object and point image. So for every point on your body, an image is being formed. So when it happens point wise, so that then you actually end up getting a inverted or a reverted image. So in this case what happens is the light which is traveling from the left hand side of the object is reflected straight back and it appears to us as if it is coming from the right hand side of the image. So basically with, with the help of the image distance and object distance I think you can understand it pretty well. Now let us look at some more examples of lateral inversion so this was all incorrect and it, this is the correct one. Now you can see lateral inversion very clearly with something written. For example, you write light. Now the mirror image of light will be something like this. That's, that is also the same concept. You see the distance of T from the mirror should be equal to distance of T from the mirror. The distance of H is again the same. So for each of the point on the entire uh, text, you will see that the image distance is equal to object distance. So if, if you place a mirror like this, so then the laterally inverted image will be somewhat like this. 
because here also you see the distance is always remaining the same. So with this concept of lateral inversion, you can also explain the, these type of phenomena where you see the in case of object, this is the top and this is the bottom. But when you look at the image, it is inverted. So this has become the bottom and this has become the, the top has become the bottom. So this is, the, I mean, this con concept of lateral inversion is very common and it is very important. So with this, we have understood reflection of light and we also got to understand how reflection of light helps us to see our images, how it helps us to see the objects around us. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.